Hello and welcome back. So, I uh, did a little bit of cleaning on the board. Um, all this black gunk came off of the, uh, the two uh, sensors on the back, and then the rest of this was all dirt and crud that was on the circuit board itself. Uh, I think water had gotten into it, and not just any water, but like water that contained some road salt. That white gunk that was in there look to be salt deposits and the salt deposits appeared to be um, you know salt is ionic it's conductive uh, it's electrolyte and it was between all the power and grounds on things uh, so it looked like anywhere there was a potential it kind of grew some crystals there and uh, cleaning all those all that off and yeah it, it works fine now um, I'll go ahead and do the same thing I did last time we'll kill the lights over here and hit the switch. Ignore the mess. <laughs> Trying to show too much of the workbench because it's messy. But um, it's on right now, so you can see the um, the LED is not lit, and now it's acting like uh, my board's up here, and then this is the device under test. So if I just spin it a little bit, see we now have both LEDs firing in both directions. So I didn't adjust the uh, encoder uh, board very well. I just stuck it on there. Um, I'm missing the... Um, well, let me... let me. Well, you can see that both LEDs are now turning on. Uh, they weren't before. Now they are, right? So <laughs> that, that's working. So let me go turn the light back on. Uh, I can't reach it. There it is. All right, so we've got both both LEDs. A, B lines are now both toggling properly. And, um, yeah, so uh, it looks like uh, I hadn't adjusted it really good because um, they didn't send me the, uh, the screws. So there's actually a spring behind here to, for the adjustment screw to adjust the distance. So I put a washer behind there. I don't know if you look. Uh, when I took it off in the last video, a little washer fell out. I've just got a random washer that I'm using to space it, so it's not perfectly set up, but it's good enough because it 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 runs. So we've got the um, let's see if I can usually have this on the camera at the same time here. We'll just do that. So go ahead and put her in gear, and we'll give her just a tiny bit of throttle. Oh, the battery in the UPS is beeping. I'm not going to redo this video. <laughs> You'll just have to live through the beeping. Uh, maybe you can't hear that. I don't know. Uh, let me give it just a little bit of throttle here. There you go. She spins right up. So let that spool down, because I, again, I don't have regen, and I don't want to stick my finger on the disc to slow it down, but um, we'll let that come to a stop. I'll flip gears here to reverse, and I'll give it a little bit of throttle, same thing, nice and smooth. probably should have spooled it up that high that I did <laughs> but um, yeah it, it all works now uh, so dirt <laughs> and a little bit of salt um, yeah I think it, I think somehow road road salt got in it uh, I don't even know where this drives from maybe that's not possible if it came from down south or if it's up north or if it's like here they salt the roads like mad but um, during the winter, but uh, yeah, I, I I think the encoder board's fixed now. Um, everything looks like it's working. We're getting AB pulses out of it now, and it, it works fine with the drive. I'm using uh, you can see the serial number still on there, uh, 1270, uh, manufactured in 1995. This thing's 21 years old. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, it looks like that fixed it, uh, just giving it a, a good cleaning, uh, fixed it. Um, I'll go ahead and 
take a sharpie and fix up the uh, the little boogered up spots on here. But I, I, it's not the disc. It was, it was definitely the the encoder board that was the problem. So I'll, I'll fix that up. And uh, yeah, I think this is a successful repair. And um, well, I didn't even repair it. it. I just cleaned it. Sometimes you just gotta clean the circuit board, and that's all it takes. Anyways, uh, yeah, that all works. So thanks for watching.